Hello my dear students. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you will learn about what is solution in chemistry. Before going to discuss, we take some examples of solutions. Juice is considered a solution because when you take a sip of juice, you don't taste individual parts separately. Dot all the components of juice combine to give you delicious and refreshing flavor. Steel is a solution of iron and carbon with small amounts of other metals. It is a solution because the metals are melted together and form a solid alloy that has the same composition throughout. The beverage companies add carbon dioxide gas under high pressure into the drink. This gas dissolves in the water and forms carbonic acid. This is what gives the drink its refreshing fizz and bubbles. Alcohol, in its most common form, is a solution of ethanol and water. These two substances blend together so perfectly that you can't see them. Coffee is such a great example of a solution. Coffee contains over 1000 different chemical compounds, including caffeine, antioxidants, and other flavor molecules. When diving deep underwater, the pressure increases significantly, and breathing regular air becomes dangerous. That's why the diver's cylinder contains a solution of oxygen, nitrogen, and helium. Before going to discuss solutions, we must know about mixture and its types. Let me define mixture. When different substances are mixed up physically, then the matter is known as a mixture. There are two types of mixtures, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. We take an example of salt water. When you dissolve salt in water, it creates a homogeneous mixture. Because the salt particles are evenly spread out, you can't see the salt anymore, but it's still there. So, the homogeneous mixtures are those mixtures where the substances are uniformly distributed. And you can't see the different components with the naked eye. On the other hand, oil and water are two liquids that do not mix well. They form a heterogeneous mixture. Because they have different densities and polarities, you can see two distinct layers of oil and water. So heterogeneous mixtures are those mixtures that have non-uniform composition throughout its mass. And you can see different components with the naked eye. Homogeneous mixture is also known as solution. While heterogeneous mixture may be a suspension or a colloid. Now, we can define a solution. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. The boundaries of the components cannot be distinguished. For example, air we breathe is an example of solution because it's a mixture of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and trace amounts of other gases. These gases are all dissolved in each other to form a homogeneous mixture. So air is a solution of different gases. Brass is a solid solution of zinc and copper. These two metals are melted together to create this beautiful golden material that we often see in musical instruments and decorative items. Do you know, my dear students, what is a binary solution? Well, it's simply a fancy term. When two substances come together to form a homogeneous mixture, known as binary solution. Let's take sugar and water as an example. When we add sugar to water it starts to disappear. That's because the sugar molecules are breaking apart and spreading out evenly throughout the water. This process is called dissolution. And the solution formed is known as binary solution. In this example, sugar is a solute because it is present in smaller quantity. While water is a solvent because it is present in larger quantity. So, how can you define solute and solvent? The component of solution, which is present in smaller quantity, is called solute. The component of a solution, which is present in a larger quantity, is called solvent. In a solution, if more than two substances are present, one substance acts as solvent, and others behave as solute. I hope this video helped you. If you find it interesting don't forget to like it, and subscribe for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.